A Shave with Sterling, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and white shavers everywhere. It's Mark with georgetune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, a lot of viewers out there have been encouraging me to try Sterling Shave Soap. And I went ahead and ordered some. It arrived the other day, so we're gonna have a shave with it this morning. Uh, I'm gonna be using Sterling Sharp Dressed Man. Uh, boy, this promises to be a terrific, terrific shave soap. I've already cracked it open just to kind of get a peek at it. Um, boy, look at that. Beautiful artisan soap made in small batches. And this scent is absolutely glorious. And you get 5.8 ounces for only $13.60. Wow, that is really a great deal. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to shaving with Sharp Dressed Man this morning. I also have uh, the Sharp Dressed Man aftershave. So, uh, you know, we're gonna go wire to wire with uh, Sterling Soap's Sharp Dressed Man. Uh, my razor this morning is gonna be my Vikings Blade Chieftain 5BC. I'm gonna use a treat Platinum razor blade right there. I'm going to use my uh, West Coast shaving brush, the Honeycomb Synthetic Shaving Brush, Synthetic Knot, right there. Um, yeah, Shash Allen Block for right after the shave, before the aftershave. And uh, for upstairs, a little bit of the Everyman Jack lotion. Uh, this is unscented, so it's not going to interfere with that great scent that uh, Sharp Dressed Man has. Boy, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little information here about the Sharp Dressed Man here right from their webpage. Pattern after the famous green Irish tweed scent that was created for Cary Grant. This scent has been put to use by men like Robert Redford and Clint Eastwood, meaning this is what real men smell like. Um, here's the ingredient list. I'll give you the ingredients here. Beef tallow, steric acid, distilled water, castor oil, potassium hydroxide, vegetable glycerin, fragrance oil, almond oil, shea butter, coconut milk, lanolin, sodium hydroxide, and sodium lactate. So that's what is in the Sharp Dressed Man. Boy, I'm really looking forward to uh, shaving with this. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, let me get some hot, hot water. I'm gonna put a little bit on that. A little bit on top of this, just to kind of soften it up, get it going, just a little bit, not a lot. I'm just put a, I don't know if you can see that, just, there's just a little bit of water on there, just to kind of get it going. And I'm going to go ahead and soak my brush. Let this kind of soak up, and uh, I'll be right back to uh, start to shave. Really looking forward to it. Okay, so hang in there with me. Okay, we're gonna let that soak a little more and I'm gonna load my razor. Love these one-piece razors. I especially love this uh, Chieftain 5BC from Vikings Blade, but they're just so easy to load. You just twist them open, drop the blade in, and you're all set. So that's open, so let's get my treat razor blade right here. And, okay, there it is right there, treat. And uh, we'll just drop that in. There it is. Really easy to load. Love that. Absolutely love that. Blade balance and alignment, spot on. Love this razor. All right, that should be good. Let's go ahead and uh, take some, a little bit of this bloom water here and just dump it in there and use a little bit of that to kind of get things going. So uh, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Now this, when, I, when the bloom water hit the water in the sink, there was this explosion of beautiful scent that has really just emanated throughout uh, the shaving area here. Really, really nice. Here's my uh, West Coast shaving brush. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to do a brush load and we're going to do a face lather. So I'm not going to press into this too hard. I'm just going to get this going on the tips here. Now, the gentleman and his wife who own the company 
well, Rod did a tutorial online. I'll link to that so you can see how he builds a ladder using a badger brush. I'm using a synthetic brush because I like synthetic brushes. And you know what? That's a really good brush load right there. Um, I don't think you're going to need a lot. Look at that. Look at how that just is. It's just loaded so nicely. Okay, here we go. Boom, lather, wow. My gosh, was that easy to lather. Oh my goodness. I don't know, I'll have to go back and count the number of times I swirled there in the, in the soap, but it doesn't look like it was, was that long, really. Look at how much lather I've got. You know, I could add a little bit of water to this, just a little bit, just dip the tips in there a little bit. And that is an absolutely beautiful scent. Yes, very masculine, very manlike, absolutely. Yeah. So what a guy is supposed to smell like, really. All right. That's fantastic. Wow. Wow. All right, let's heat up my razor. Just throw it under. Just throw it under some hot water here. Hot, hot water. Let it swirl in the sink a little bit to bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's fan that is fantastic. That is so smooth. That is so smooth. Oh my gosh. I know everyone out there right now that recommended this is, 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 is yelling at the screen, yelling at the screen. I told you so. I told you so. Yes, you were right. Wow. Especially on the neck. No tugging, no pulling. Wow, is that nice. Wow. That's fantastic. That's really good. There's a, that's a lot of great glide there. Wonderful smoothness. I mean, it lathered instantly, instantly. First pass done, let's rinse. That was a beautiful first pass. My gosh, <laughs> you want to know something? You know, my dad's generation, you know, World War II generation, I don't remember them doing two and three passes. He would just do one pass and then go to work. He would do an additional pass, as I recall, when I was really, really young, kind of looking, watching him as he was shaving in the bathroom. He would do an additional pass if he was taking my mom out, you know, to dinner, dinner and a movie, something like that, dinner and a show. But right now, if I had, if the, if the phone rang, hey, you got to get into work, you got to get in the office, I could do it right now. Really. <laughs> that was a fantastic first pass. And there's some nice slickness still there, some nice residual slickness. Boy, that's, that's fantastic. Let me just throw a little bit more water on my face here. Just to get that second pass. A little more water for the second pass. Wow. That's fantastic. Plenty on the brush. Wow.
Look at that. That is just... That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. All right, we're going to do uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the green. So smooth, so smooth. Unbel uh, just beautiful glide, beautiful slickness, really nice and smooth. Wow. Just terrific. And of course, I love this razor. This razor is doing an absolutely spectacular job. Just Beautiful weight, heavier than the original Chieftain, but uh, really terrific. And even though the end tabs are exposed a little bit, not so much no, not so much so that it's a deal breaker. Just really, really nice and maneuverable. Great weight, nice balance. Just terrific, terrific uh, razor. All right, that's pass number two done. Let's rinse. Yeah, I am completely done. I mean, I cannot believe that is fantastic. I mean, I'm done with my shave, but I'm gonna do a third quick light pass just to show you how much soap I have left in the brush. And look, I have more than enough here. And really, I didn't do that long of a brush load. That's the wonderful thing. I'm really looking forward to trying this with my Vikings Blade Fire Mare brush. I'm looking forward to trying this with a uh, Omega Bore brush, my large professional brush, and the uh, 100 Dumble 6. Oh yeah, I'm going to use this with some different shaving brushes and just I mean, to really have fun with it, really. Wow! Unbelievable. Okay. Um, here's pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. A light, light, quick third pass. Because really, my shave is done. But I'm enjoying it so much. Got to do the third pass. Something nice and light. I can't believe the slickness. The glide, you know, watch out, Tabak. <laughs> I, you know, really, I think, I think immediately, uh, the five, four, three, two, one challenge, five, your five favorite sa shaving soaps, that list has changed. <laughs> it's changed. Okay, we're done. Beautiful, beautiful. Third pass done, let's rinse. I cannot believe how wonderfully close and smooth and brilliant that shave was. That was fantastic. 
<laughs> wow, to all my viewers who have been telling me to, to try this, I'm sorry it took this long. I apologize. You know, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Um, really, this has been fantastic. My two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. All right, needed, needed a couple of extra splashes there to get that slickness off because there was a lot of nice slickness there. Oh, wow, really nice. Here's my cold water rinse to close my pores. Okay, two splashes and a third for good measure. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me. Yeah, I am now looking forward to trying those different shaving brushes with it and doing a head shave, seeing how that works out. Wow. Fantastic. What a fantastic shave. <laughs> And a great scent. I mean, really, I haven't tried. This is the first shaving soap I've tried. And I did a little online research listening to some others talk about it. Here's my Shash Allen block. Let me just run there some cold water and uh, run it around my face here and see what kind of feedback we get. Oh, smooth as ice. Smooth as ice. Wow. Wow, no stinging, no zinging. That's fantastic. Anyhow, I was doing some online research and um, a lot of other wet shavers have talked about Sharp Dress Man being a signature scent, almost, yeah, a signature scent, being the number one most popular scent, I guess you could say. Uh, it's the defining scent of the Sterling Shave Soap Company. Uh, that's kind of what my understanding is. If I'm wrong about that, I apologize, but uh, Sharp Dress Man seems to be very distinct in the company is what I mean to say. A lot of people, a lot of wet shavers have this, have tried it, and love it. And uh, I'm a new convert. Uh, absolutely love this shaving soap. And if you look at, um, look at here, right here, it's artisan soap. It's, it's a bit of a crope. It's not really a hard soap. It is hard, but it's, eh, you know what, a little harder than a crope, I would say. But uh, again, you could do a nice brush load. You could scrape a little bit out and put it in a shaving bowl. You could load a brush and then build a lather in a shaving bowl. You could load a brush and build a lather in the palm of your hand face lather, a uh, lot of different options there. But man, oh man, they give you a lot for $13.60. Wow, do they give you a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I, truth be told, I bought two. Uh, I bought this one and I bought another one. Okay, you have to wait until you see what kind, which one I bought. Um, but uh, this one, uh, great first selection for me, right out of the gate an absolute winner. This thing's a grand slam home run. Really terrific, terrific, terrific. So let's try the aftershave splash. Cracking this open for the very first time. There it is. Ooh, nice. Got a little restrictor there. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, it's okay. Really is restricting it from coming out. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna use a little more than most. That's terrific. Very nice, very nice. 
Little everyman Jack here for upstairs, just a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Doing a full head shave, so I gotta cover a little more real estate. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely not getting in the way. The Everyman Jack is not getting in the way of the uh, Shark Dress Man. Great shave. Wow. This was fantastic. The aftershave, beautiful scent. Really, really nice. Very, very nice scent. Uh, love this stuff a lot. But uh, the shave soap, wow. What a fantastic performer. Let's take a look at my, let's take a look at my shaving brush right here. Let's take a look and see how much we have left here. Look at that. Look, I have enough for another pass, touch up, whatever. And look, look at the nice peaks I'm getting here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that... <laughs> I mean, that is... Look at that. That's fantastic. Man, this stuff is just... Just great. Just an absolute winner. Um, and it was, it, it was so easy to lather. Anybody could lather this. Uh, if you're a beginner wet shaver, yeah, definitely get, get a tub of this stuff because, uh, it will make your, it will make the start of your wet shaving adventure uh, a lot easier. Um, it just lathers in a snap. It really does. I've talked about how great Tabak is because Tabak lathers so wonderfully well and uh, quickly and builds a great lather. Boy, this stuff, uh, this stuff's great. I would say it's superior. <laughs> I mean, superior in the sense that it lathers easily. It gives you great slickness, great glide, terrific protection for your wet shave. Uh, but I'm just thinking of all the scents that are available. I mean, uh, that's what's so wonderful about it. You could buy, uh, you know, uh, three, four, half dozen of these and be set for uh, a couple of years and put those in your rotation and have a different uh, sensation uh, every morning for your wet shave. Wow, that's fantastic. So, yeah, this is absolutely a winner. Um, Sharp Dress Man from Sterling Soap Shave Company. Wow, this was absolutely fantastic. Um, get some. <laughs> get some. You will not be sorry. Uh, why did I wait so long? Uh, I'm glad I finally got some. Thanks to all the viewers who recommended it. All right, thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Um, Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.